What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with another exciting video because we're here with the Rapsodo MLM 2 Pro Golf Launch Monitor and we're connected to the Awesome Golf Simulator software. I wanna give you guys a demonstration and technically we're not connected because I'm screen recording to show you guys how this works. We're going to show you how you could use like an iPhone like I am and connect to your PC using the Awesome Golf Assistant and the MLM 2 Pro app. So you'll see here, I'm on my Rapsodo MLM 2 Pro app. It says I'm connected and I direct connect with Wi-Fi using cellular on my phone or cellular on my iPad because my Wi-Fi network connection isn't that great here in the studio. So I'm better off doing it this way. Um, I don't have to deal with, you know, shaky Wi-Fi in my house or anything. So once you're connected, then it's really simple. You can use the app to align your device if necessary. So go ahead and you know do that. Then go to play at the bottom center and you'll see simulation down at the bottom. We're gonna select that. Up at the top, you'll see it says third party apps. We're gonna select that. And then awesome golf, we'll select that. And it's just gonna say, are you sure you want to connect? Yes, I do want to connect. Once it's connected, you'll see it says connection successful. I'm going to search for the Awesome Golf Assistant, you will need to download this app. This is what's going to connect everything to the PC. So I'm gonna open up Assistant, and then I'm gonna select Rap Soto, and you'll see it connects to the MLM, and then it also connects to the Awesome Golf server. Now I can continue on the PC, and you guys, you can follow along with me on the phone here. So I'm gonna select Rap Soto as the launch monitor on the PC. You can connect via Bluetooth. I just really don't use Bluetooth on my desktop PC, and this is so easy, there's no reason not to use it. Um, just connect via Assistant. And then when I hit Sync Devices on my phone, you'll see that my camera comes up, and I'm just gonna hold it up, scan the QR code, it says it's connected, and we're good to go. It's really that easy. And now we'll play some virtual golf, show you guys how this works. So let's go to virtual golf. I think it's gonna be that nice that way I can show you some driver and everything. We'll just play seven, eight, and nine. That's a par five to start off. So perfect, uh, you know, for showing you driver. Um, we'll leave all that the same. We'll play like the blue tees. We don't need to play the tips. I'm not really warmed up. So <laughs> let's go to play golf. Little flyover on this par five to start things off. I mean, it's 454 yards. It's not super long, but uh, you know, long enough. So, all right, let's see if our aim is, yeah, aim's down the center on this one. So I'm gonna grab my tee. I only swung a few driver, but I felt like I was connecting well enough to where I could uh, give you guys a good demonstration, get out here and play a few holes and show you how the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro not only performs with driver shot, but also on awesome golf simulator software. So let's see if I can actually make a decent swing here. Shouldn't be too bad. It felt a little high on the face. So I wonder if I'm gonna get short carry. Yeah, not awesome. But not bad. Let's see what the backspin was on that, if it was a, yeah, 1640. But look how it's reading the backspin. Notice that the launch angle was 11 degrees. It's the only thing I've noticed so far, and I'll have to do more testing for you guys, but I'd also like you to do some testing and let me know what you find out. But I did notice so far that my normal launch on driver, usually around 14. I'll just use a nice even number. And I've noticed that the launch has been around 11 for the most part. So uh, sometimes 12, I think I saw as well, but several degrees lower on launch consistently from what I'm seeing. Um, so we're gonna have to pay attention to that because my unit is perfectly level, all right? Um, I know it's perfectly level and aligned and everything. So if that's something we might need to share with Rapsodo, you know, we will do that. Um, but I'd like to know what more people think. So 184 yards, I grabbed a six iron, you know, pretty standard shot for me. Let's see if uh, we can get this thing up close. If not, we'll be able to show you guys some short game. That was struck pretty well. <laughs> Let's see if that's the one, actually. Oh! Oh, <laughs> just outside. It's going to two-putt for birdie. That felt like a really good strike. And, you know, my irons and everything have been, uh, been solid. I mean, that's my number on my six iron. Um, everything about it, really. So, uh... You know, even launch angle, when I was showing you guys uh, an 8-iron, and make sure you check out the video if you haven't seen it. Um, I showed you guys 8-iron 
and uh, it was hitting around 7,000, which I normally hit, and then the launch was in like the 22 range, I wanna say, uh, 21, 22, which is normal. All right, so this is just another pretty straightforward hole. Um, nothing too crazy, water off to the left. They did release improved graphics. I showed you guys um, the improved graphics a little while ago. Uh, you know, for this software being able to run on an iPad or a low GPU PC and everything, um, you know, it's pretty immersive. So might be something you want to consider right away if you're doing the Rapsoda MLM2 Pro um, compared to, you know, the simulation that it comes with. You're going to get a much more immersive experience here. All right. Let's see if I can hit this a little higher on the face this time. I'm sorry, a little lower. Not too bad. It still wasn't a perfect strike, but we'll see how that one. Eh, not terrible. Not terrible for not being that warmed up. I definitely can carry the ball further than I usually. That was a little toey and it said push draw. See how it's 12 degrees? Um, 1800 to 2000 spin. I mean, around 2000 is pretty normal for me. Um, the back spin is, is, it's picking up well. I mean, and especially because that was a little toey and that ball pushed and drew back a little bit. Um, spin access, I feel comfortable with that. That's, that's what I would uh, definitely say is the case on that shot. So, 94 yards, 11 feet uphill. So, I would like to hit a light 54. I feel like with 11 feet uphill, that's the way to go. Let's see if we can pull that off. I mean, this is really a little over 100 yard club, but. I always say don't hit full wedges. Oh, is it too much? Come back. Oh, it did. Oh, it got some nice spin on it too. Another birdie, look at the spin, 97, 57. I mean, I hit it really well. It was a, it was a well struck, you know, ball. So um, we're on a roll here. I mean, and what are we finishing with, a, a par three? This is uh, better than I would have expected, honestly. 132 yards and it's downhill. And so in my opinion, I pull out a pitching wedge, which usually can carry upwards of 130. And being a little downhill, I'm not gonna try to fade this too much. Try to do this to do a normal shot and try to get it up there. Pretty good strike. Yeah, a little, little tugged. I could feel that a little. Could just release it a little hard is all. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. Man, that was just, and look at the spin, because I, I crisp it really well. 132 carry. I mean, that was a really successful first three holes on Awesome Golf. All I did was fire it up and just kind of got it set up and everything. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I will do a full driver session. I mean, this unit showed up last night. I knocked out the first review video and I know a ton of people wanted to see Awesome Golf. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna jump out, play Awesome Golf, show you guys a few holes really quick on how this works. And uh, there you go. I mean, uh, you know how to connect it to PC now using the Assistant app if you've never seen that before and you can go play Awesome Golf. So uh, stay tuned, make sure you comment below what you guys wanna see, your thoughts, everything along those lines and I'll make sure to have a lot more coming soon, all right? I'm gonna do a dedicated driver video for you too, all right? We'll even get this thing outside here as the weather's warming up here in Michigan. We're gonna do it all, but I wanna hear exactly you know what you wanna see in the comments. I'll try to prioritize those. So as always, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, there'll be a lot more coming soon.